Semiotics, as we should all know by now, is the study of science. It started out as semiology, as coined by Ferdinand de Saussure, then was later called semiotics by Charles Sanders Peirce. In this class, we discuss how semiotics can be applied to different media forms such as film, TV, and internet. According to Danisi, there are three questions to ask when studying mass media with semiotics what something means or represents, how it exemplifies its meaning, and why it has the meaning that it has. For this report, we look at semiotics in the internet. The internet is the largest and most prevalent computer network in the world, carrying a variety of digital signals such as videos, images, sounds, graphics, animation, and text. All of these float around as virtual signifiers, which is defined as the online world of computer networks and the internet. Danisi says that there is no material world exists in the cyberspace, hence the term virtual signifies. Now this might not make any sense to all of you right now, so let's give some examples. Such signs can be found using the internet, can range from icons like the mailbox, folder icon for message notifications, to smileys, emoticons, emojis, to like buttons or icons. Now that we're talking about the like button, let's focus on that. When did the like button on Facebook start anyway? Well, it was first launched by Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's CEO, in February of the year 2009. Seven years ago, in 2010, Facebook extended the like feature to comment section. So instead of just liking the post, users started liking comments in the post as well. In Facebook's help center, they explain that clicking like is an easy way to let people know you enjoy it without leaving a comment. Voucher defines like button on Facebook as a digitized gesture that signals approval, approbation, agreement, praise, a reminder to the receiver of the sender's existence, or a form of a reward feedback system. Not only is the thumb up symbol found on Facebook, as variations of the same theme can be found on other websites, such as YouTube or Twitter. Now how is this a sign? Well, if you remember Charles Peirce's triad of semiotics that include the representament, interpretant, and object, here's how it is illustrated for the like button. Basically, when a post is liked by someone, it could mean approval, as that is what the thumbs up gesture or symbol means to us. The problem with this is not all like posts means that those likers actually approve of the post. This issue of the meaning of the like button was pointed out by Foucher, who says that when a user posts content for the purpose of raising awareness about starving children in Sudan, does it mean that clicking on the like button indicates one's approval of the starving children? Another example Foucher gave is when a user updates his or her relationship status as single. Does it mean that clicking on the like button indicates one's approval of the status? emotional support, or a signal of romantic interest. Now let's look at a specific post. Last March 11, the UPLB community welcomed Honorable Rodrigo Duterte as a guest speaker in a forum on governance, transparency, and social transformation. However, the event was tainted with controversy when a student Stephen Villana allegedly posted a statement that disrespected Mayor Duterte. On the other hand, when the event was reported in Rappler by LB correspondent Pia Ranada, she made it seem that another student uttered the alleged disrespectful statement in the name of Ronald Jem Celestial. It was then that Celestial took into the social media to clear his name and express his grievances. The open letter he posted received numerous responses which offered support to Celestial and exasperation to the irresponsible media reporting. It can be observed that although many users commented on the post, most of the attention it garnered was through the newly established Facebook reactions. Through the Facebook reactions, viewers can express their emotions to any situation with just one click. It also enables the users to accurately classify the viewer's feedback with regards to their post as compared to the traditional like button. 
Have you ever wondered how other people get a ton of likes on social media sites when some people cannot even get one? Some people receive a bulk of likes on a consistent manner. They are often referred to as famous. There are different types of famous internet people. Some are real life celebrities, some are internet celebrities, while well, some just have a pretty face. One thing that the said group of people has in common is that they have a lot of friends and followers in social networking sites that it made possible for them to acquire so many likes in their posts. The main factor to consider when posting something are the content and the caption. Filipino people love entertainment. Something that makes them laugh or something that is trending are the kinds of posts that sell. When it comes to social networking sites, a post can get many likes by being an inspiration to others. But most often, famous posts contain something stupid. Some of the most famous posts that have tons of likes is the one with a picture of somebody crying and accompanied by a caption that is about a breakup. While some posts get likes by showing some pretty face or by showing a little skin. A lot of people like to see pretty faces. It is appealing to one's vanity. The basis of today is that the prettier you are, the more skin you show, the more likes you want use what he has. Like, love, haha, wow, sad, angry. Most of us know it as Facebook reactions. From the like button, Facebook generated reactions. It was the Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg who first told the newsfeed team that they need to step up and reinvent the like button. The main focus of creating reactions is to be universal and to let people express more of what they feel. About a year ago, Facebook started the mission to build reactions, and the reason that not all of the posts is likable. Zuckerberg and his team played around with six emotions or reactions that they saw were usually used by the people. Facebook also tried different styling cues to incorporate reactions with the like, comment, and share buttons. Until they finalize with the reactions hidden inside the like button and can be seen when you hover the like button, it is done to lessen the clutter and continue the minimalist theme of the newsfeed. In a given scenario, I posted something sad, a heartbreaking on my timeline, and most of my friends like my post. Honestly, I will feel sad that they like it even though it was a post about a sad event in my life. Is the like pertaining that they like what happened to me or a person close to me? On the lighter note, I can relate the like of my friends as an extension of their sympathy for what happened to me. Now with reactions, the emotional range that our friends can be expressed properly about our post. Like button for a post that you personally like, for example, a pair of shoes or a photo of your favorite food. The love reaction can be used to show that you love the post or you extend your love for the person who posted it. Next is the haha reaction. Instead of you liking the post and then commenting lol or laugh out loud, ha is much easier for the user. This reaction shows that the post brings laughter to the person who saw the post. Wow reaction on the other hand shows that you are amazed of the post or you admire it. Next is the sad reaction. Now you can show your sympathy for a post, a post of a past relative or something special to your friend. Lastly is the angry reaction. It might sound rude to use this as a reaction, but that's why it was made, to show what you feel about a certain post that you want to react on. Reactions are usually accommodated by a comment that usually is backed by a hashtag that most of the time you use in Twitter or Instagram, and now also in Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and many other social networking sites have things in common. Two of these are the social engagement feedback factors, we call likes and comments on a post. According to Facebook, liking a post is an easy way for one to let people know that one enjoys the post without leaving a comment. While this is true with the like feature, the reaction and new feature of Facebook however allows one to specify his or her response. Whenever people respond to a certain post on Facebook, it is not really clear what people want to imply or express. But by the use of comment, when we like a post, the one who posted it is sure of what really our reaction was. Responses with comments are much more specific than with likes alone. Others even put hashtags to their comments to be more specific with their response, like, Go Kobe Bryant! 
Hashtag LA Lakers Hashtag Basketball Hashtag NBA There is assurance in the response when we like or react to posts then comment on them. This is because the reactions provided by Facebook are just limited to like, love, haha, wow, sad, angry. In another perspective, there is one more thing that comments do to the likes of posts of social media. Posts are being exposed more when being commented. Whenever one commented on a post, the post will be back to the newsfeed of the user's friend. With this, there is a huge possibility for more likes. There will be even larger possibilities about this when comments have hashtags in it. When Facebook users search a hashtag, it is easy to see posts with those hashtags or comments on a post with those hashtags. Social networking sites are being more and more in demand today. It is not that shocking considering that many features social networking sites have. It is like an online diary. You cannot share everything and anything you like. The said sites also offer a form of communication that eliminates the need for physical contact. When it comes to communicating, some people prefer the internet than to actually meet someone. But one essential is lacking in social networking sites, the ability to convey the feeling of an individual. It is the difference between having a conversation online and having a personal real-life conversation. It is difficult to convey one's feeling in a text. The stratospheric rise of emoji in text messaging on Facebook and elsewhere is essentially fulfilling the function of nonverbal cues in spoken communication. Some of the early forms of showing nonverbal cues in spoken communication are using words like haha, lol, or rofl to convey one's reaction. There are also words that are used to convey sad feelings, words like hoo hoo. Not being able to show nonverbal cues in spoken communication is the limitation that emojis, stickers, and emoticons are trying to solve. By the help of the said tools, an individual can convey his or her feelings more accurately by the means of typing what an individual thinks and backing up with emojis, stickers, and emoticons, one can convey what he or she truly thinks without being misunderstood by others. And there you have it, like and reaction buttons from the most trending social media website, the Facebook. All of those signs and symbols are crucial in terms of the moods and such dramas one wants to express in order for others to relate. Through the use of the like button, one can express his or her appreciation or sympathy to the one who posted, and to be more specific through the use of the reaction buttons present. Those buttons can also be a guide to where the trends are, especially the trends a person wants to follow or currently following. And there are many other uses of the like and reaction buttons in Facebook that most of the people with mobile devices and other gadgets got involved too. Therefore, signs and symbols plays a big role especially in the internet, since there is just more of text, minimal or most of the time no sounds, and no actual interactions with people using is it involved. Nowadays, using the internet turned to be a normal activity for the present generation. And all of the internet users are actually dealing with lots of science and symbols, especially the science of semiotics, without even noticing. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. And the science gets done and you make a neat gun for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me. Pieces, and threw every piece into a 
Maybe black Lisa. That was a joke. Ha ha. Bad chance. Anyway, this cake is great. It's so delicious and moist. Look at these two.